Hello world, it's Siraj, and today I'm going to show you exactly how I built an AI agent that made $2,345 in just 24 hours, all while taking care of my newborn son. This isn't some theoretical concept or exaggerated claim. Let me show you the actual payment notifications coming in while I was busy changing diapers. What you're seeing right now is the Stripe dashboard from my AI legal document generator business. As you can see, we had 24 transactions totaling 2,526 in revenue. After expenses, that's 1,843 in pure profit generated completely on autopilot. In the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna break down exactly how I did this step by step and I'll be open sourcing the entire code base so you can build something similar yourself. So there is a huge market gap for legal documents. Everybody needs legal help, whether they're starting a business, whether they're getting a mortgage. There's so many things that require lawyers, but lawyers are super expensive. Not everybody can afford them. And if you're starting a business, there's a whole slew of legal docs that you need to create. Articles of incorporation, a privacy policy, terms of service, sometimes an NDA. This is all expensive. And even if you get a lawyer, there's a huge time delay to getting those traditional services. It takes a long time because the supply is so limited for this specialized knowledge. And that is exactly why AI is perfect for this use case. AI is perfect for commoditizing domain knowledge, turning it into a set of weights, a weight matrix, a file on your computer that you can download and use for yourself 24 seven. And in this case, it learned through hundreds of thousands of legal documents. And then it was able to translate legalese, the language of legal documents that lawyers are familiar with and go to school for three years to understand into plain English for me to understand and vice versa. I could use plain English to generate legalese with the help of this tool. I have never made a legal AI app before. This was my first time. And the reason I did it is because of Claude 3.7 Sonnet's suggestion. Claude was really the CEO of this AI startup. It developed the business strategy. It decided on this exact opportunity. The way I got it to tell me that is by prompting it. I asked it, what is the best AI opportunity to make money in the next 24 hours? Give me the best idea. And this was the idea. So it was really the driving force behind the idea and it outlined the entire strategy of how I should build it, including the landing page, which was probably the most important part. Claude generated the landing page for this, but I needed to then improve it, make it something that was animated, was really optimized for conversions, for getting people to buy on the page. And that's where V0 came in. V0 is this great tool for design. It is perhaps the most popular AI for design out there right now. And the reason it's so good is because it's using all of these JavaScript based animations like Framer, and it's programmatically allowing anybody to animate and design things in a way that was not possible before. So that's really cool. So once Claude generated the initial rough landing page, I then screenshotted that and gave it to V0 to then create a really intense full on front end interface with all the bells and whistles, all the features needed to get people to convert. And it did that, it did that beautifully, it did that really fast. Here are the five elements that V0 helped me incorporate into the design that ended up helping drive conversions. The first is a tiered pricing psychology. By offering three options, $29, $99, and $149, we created what psychologists call the compromise effect. And by that, I mean, most people will pick the middle option, which is exactly what we want, the $99 purchase price. And there's also urgency and scarcity that need to be built into the app. We need to drive people to FOMO into clicking purchase. And the way we did that is by creating this scarcity, only 14 documents remaining at this price. Fear of missing out is a very powerful driver in this case. And then also with any of these AI apps, we need to build trust. And the best way to do that is to let people try before they buy. A document preview feature was a game changer for conversions here. We let customers potentially see a watermark version of the doc before they buy it. And that increased conversions by 76% right there by just putting that at the bottom of the page. And then all sorts of 
trust elements help as well. A money back guarantee badge, testimonials with real photos, comparison tables. All of this is just design and marketing and V0 and Claude did great with this together. And then of course, expanded form fields, adding form fields for your specific state, any special clauses you wanna to add to your document, you can just put that right into the document in the form and it'll generate that for you. So Claude helped me design this landing page and then B0 helped me create that full front end with all the bells and whistles. It took me like two or three hours in total to do this. The full app requires a back end, it requires Stripe for payments integration and V0 is not the best for that. The best for that is Cursor and Cursor is what I've been using as my backend full stack app generator. Normally it would take me weeks to build this app. I mean, it took me weeks to build my AI sports betting bot, WagerGPT, which people love. And if you wanna check it out, make sure to check out WagerGPT. Now I can build apps in days, if not hours with Cursor. And that's incredible just through prompting alone. I don't even type. In fact, I whisper. I use a tool called Whisper Flow to convert my voice to text. I'm whispering all these giant prompts into cursor and it's just building them on autopilot while I'm hands-free. It's incredible. And here's the exact prompt that I gave cursor to fully build the AI. I said, build a fully functional AI legal document generator web app based on the provided HTML landing page. Include document generation with GPT-4, I use ChatGPT, payment processing with Stripe, email notifications and all necessary backend systems. And that's enough to have this agent build the full stack web app. Not only does it generate code, it runs commands, it creates files. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. It creates directory structures. It checks its work. It sees what's wrong. This built the app in a single prompt and then I just iterated a few times saying, this is good, but can you please improve the landing page to make it more beautiful and make sure the Stripe page is a dedicated checkout. And here's my Stripe API keys, as well as my OpenAI API keys. And that's where you give it your Stripe API keys right in the prompt interface. It will then put input that into the .env file for safekeeping, and then you can deploy that app. I deployed it using Heroku, which is just one of many sources. You could use Vercel, there's so many out there. With a few clicks, it deployed it to Heroku for me, and you could see the full code for this app. I'm open sourcing all this code on GitHub so you can build your own version of this AI legal document generator. That's pretty good. It's pretty simple. We just go in, we say whatever our forms are, we input a simple name and idea and a corporation and we wait a bit and it's going to generate the legal document for us. And this was using GPT 4.0. I had some generation issues with GPT 4.5 preview because it took too long to generate. Heroku's timeout was 30 seconds. I just used a less intelligent but faster model. And now that we've built this app, I've showed you how I built it with Cursor, with V0 and with Claude. Let's talk about how to sell this thing because building an app now is super easy. Everything is distribution these days and that's why we have influencers. That's why we have personal brands. The reason I didn't use my personal brand to sell this is because I wanted to see if I could sell this without that boost. I used ChatGPT to build my marketing strategy. ChatGPT was my chief marketing officer here. And I told it, I gave it the full context of, hey, Claude helped me build this. I've got 24 hours to make some profit. Please help me make $2,000 in the next 24 hours. And it decided that Google Ads was the best avenue to make that money for this specific app. And the reason is because there's so many people searching Google for legal documents. And so my Google ad strategy focused on five high converting keywords with proven buyer intent. First one is download NDA template with a $3.20 CPC with 2,400 monthly searches. The second one is terms of service generator at $2.75 of cost per click and 3,100 monthly searches. And the third is was privacy policy template at $2.90 cost per click with 4,200 monthly searches. So for the campaign structure, I created three separate ad groups and each was targeting a different document type. We had NDAs, terms of service, and then privacy policies. And this allowed me to A-B test between different ad copies. ChatGPT decided all of this. It wrote all the ad copies. It told me what would likely convert best what to put as a description for all these things. And it was just instrumental in creating all of these high converting ad variations that helped me identify 
the best keywords to target. I spent quite a bit here on Google Ads, but I learned a lot about the demographics. I learned a lot about who my customers are, where they live. California was a huge demographic, Texas and New York. Searches, you could see the top ones were AI for law firms right here. My click-through rate was three times the industry average. It was at 11% a few hours ago, now it's at 9%, but still that's a huge amount. And it shows that I had 158 clicks. It shows how much people want something like this and how much people are searching for. ChatGPT was right. Google Ads was the best avenue for this. Mobile was the highest performing. 90% of searches came through mobile. So that gave me some signal. Okay, I need to optimize this thing for mobile. The next step is optimizing all of these conversions. How did I optimize the conversions here? Well, I ran several A-B tests and at first I just had a $99 price tier because that I thought was like simple enough to just deploy, but nobody was buying that. I got a hundred plus clicks and not a single conversion. So that was bad. So by adding pricing tiers, that definitely helped. It increased the result by 31.4% in revenue per visitor, which was great. And then the document preview had a huge impact as well. That was a 76.2% improvement in the conversion rate. And then adding a live chat performance helped by a lot as well, where you just give people that trust. You know, like this isn't just some scam tool. It's actually generating your legal document. You can see it right here, the result. I found some really surprising findings like state specific targeting resulted in 42% higher conversion. That was pretty surprising to me. And then mobile users were the biggest ones. I thought desktop because legal docs and PDFs are very much a desktop thing. Evening hours had the highest conversion rates between 6 and 10 p.m. The money back guarantee badge increased trust scores. That surprised me. And and then the sample document section doubled the time on page. So that was really helpful and using Google Analytics on the page helped with that. ChatGPT suggested I add that and then I went back to cursor and just told it to add that snippet and it did it for me. So essentially I'm just going back and forth between my AI team here. I'm giving the full context to Claude and then to V0 and then to cursor and then back to ChatGPT and then back to cursor and then back to Claude with the progress. And so you can see that I built this team of AIs for me. Now that these AIs are sufficiently intelligent, they are able to make money in these domains. They're able to develop successfully. They're able to market successfully. They're able to scale successfully. So let's talk about that. Scaling is our next strategy. Based on the first 24 hours of data, here's exactly how we're gonna scale this business to $10,000 per month in revenue within the next month. So there's four pillars here of scaling. The first is traffic expansion. We know what works and what doesn't work with Google ads already, but we need to increase the marketing streams that we're gonna use. We need to increase the distribution channels. And I've already created a TikTok channel for this. And I just recorded four TikToks right off the bat. ChatGPT helped me design the full scripts for these. Unfortunately, they didn't get that many views. So ChatGPT had a great idea to just start with Google ads. It just goes to show that you can do many different types of marketing strategies with these AIs. You just have to prompt them properly. And then document expansion helped. I also think that having a recurring revenue model is gonna help us with expansion as well. Just having a free trial is huge to get people to dish out their debit or credit card and then just complete AI automation. I want to have AI powered email support. I want to have automated document updates based on regulation changes, self optimizing ad campaigns, make this much more agentic. Don't have me prompting Claude and ChatGPT. They should be prompting each other. And that could be using their APIs to be sending responses back and forth. And then those should be connecting to these tools. And so having an affiliate program with automatic pay Payouts, that would also help this scale by a lot. And I already use this for Wager GPT, my AI sports betting bot. I'm really excited about the potential here. Like it has never been easier to build and deploy and market an AI business. This should be inspiring to you. I am here to help you out. I think that everybody can and should be an AI entrepreneur. I want to see a billion billionaires. And I know that sounds wild at first, but AI truly will create a world of abundance and it will create a world without scarcity, but it's not gonna be through universal basic income. It's gonna be through everyone making money online with AIs, their own AIs. Just take your idea, talk to Cursor, talk to Claude, talk to ChatGPT, ask them, make me a plan to make money. Here's what I'm interested in. 
Here's what I could actually spend time on. Give yourself a deadline. That's always super important to get yourself to actually get shit done. That's how I got myself to build all this. I gave myself a 24 hour deadline. I'm really excited about the potential here. I'm a new parent as well. Huge shout out to my wife and kid for helping me out with this. Because of these tools, it's possible. I can compress all that time, hundreds of hours into hundreds of minutes with these AI tools. And there are four key lessons that I wanna conclude this video with for you. The first is that AI plus no code tools equals speed. The combination of ChatGPT, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Whisper Flow, and V0 dramatically increased how fast I could launch this. And the second is validation before building. Testing demand with minimal viable products saved me from wasting time on features nobody wants. And the third is that trust elements are critical. We gotta add these extra reassurances like money back guarantees, refund policies, to get customers to buy these products. And the last is that tiered pricing psychology works. Even though it requires more effort of up front, adding a tiered pricing structure is going to increase conversions. So remember, I'm open sourcing the entire code base for this project. You'll find the link in the description below so you can build your own version of this AI business. And if you found this content valuable, make sure to subscribe for part two, where I'm gonna continually build more AI income streams from scratch, open sourcing them, showing you the blueprint so you can do the same. I'm super excited about AI having done all this. Make sure to hit that like button if this video helped you at all. That's what helps promote the video. And for now, I've gotta go wipe some sweat off my face.